Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And what you're looking at is one of the nasties from my next Star Trek fan film. Uh, let's just say they're very hungry aliens and leave it at that. And I want to show off some of the new sets that I've built in preparation for this uh, fan film. It's going to be called Dog Star after series the uh, star, Dog Star. A little information about series. Uh, there's an East African tribe called the Dogons. And somehow or other, they came up with some pretty serious knowledge of celestial objects without having any equipment to learn anything. And something, as I do, they are in contact with aliens, and the aliens were named gnomos. All right. Uh, he said these aliens are rather hungry, so... You don't really want to uh, have to deal with them. But anyway, let's take a look at the first set. I'm using the factory set. Phantom. That's just to make it so uh, you can enter it. There's some uh, bones. You pretty much guess what's going on here. Well, it's a much more complex storyline than what you see or thinking. Alrighty. But anyway, this is featured in the new uh, fan film, which is in production now. Uh, when it'll be done, I have no idea. Okay. Okay, it's Moonbase 2.0. Sorry. Uh, computer's playing games with me. It likes to play games too. The reason I say it's Moonbase 2.0 is the first one met with an unfortunate end. You know, the outside components are all my design. The inside components, like a little sick bay here, are somebody else's design, obviously. But I built the uh, structures. There's a quick view of the outside. Now, I have a vision for uh, these fan films. When I first started out, I did mainly horror and that type of thing, but I've expanded out, and I'm doing scientific concepts and earth legends and that type of thing. I think that's actually probably a lot better. There's another control room inside this, uh, building. 
Now I'll bring up another set. Phaser control room, kind of a generic type set. Uh, it's going to be used in this next fan film a little bit. They have one of these in, in one episode of the original Star Trek, Balance of Terror. One of the phases were the big spark phases. I've never, never understood that. But whatever. Now, while I'm waiting for auxiliary to control the fully res, it can take a minute or two. Uh, future projects may include one called Black and White. There's no racial uh, intertones there because I don't do social issues. You would just have to watch it to find out. Let's go take a look at it. auxiliary control. Uh, another one I'm considering is a Circle Makers. And maybe other UFO related stuff. This is auxiliary control. I'd say it's pretty impressive. I just bought that conference table. I kind of like it. At first it didn't res, I don't know why, but it's res ever since. And I'm also going to show you the torpedo room. Now, I'm always looking for uh, plot suggestions, that type of thing. You know, obviously if we get a smart aleck answer, I'm just going to ignore it. But, uh, I'm always looking for ideas. I even toyed with the idea of something along the line of Flight 19. Uh, if you're familiar with these types of topics, Flight 19 was... I think it was a Navy flight with uh, five planes that disappeared shortly after the war. That's the kind of thing I'm toying with. I like to do some of these mysteries, that, science mysteries that uh, have occurred in our past. Okay, photon torpedo room. Nobody else has ever done anything like this. I'm not going to have the room full of photon torpedoes. I'll just have those there on the cradle for effect and basically launch them into the tubes. And. That'll be an effect that nobody else has ever done. The original Star Trek was rather vague about photon torpedoes. Next Generation showed them as these elliptical tubes, and just call them photon tubes or something. I'm a little more specific than that. Mark V Photon Torpedo, Danger, Antimatter Weapon. One more. These are the same hallways I uh, have been using. Apparently they're made by the same people who did the break. Which is what I'm about to show you. Uh, a little stubborn, but they all match up, so apparently... These, this was done by the same people. I haven't tested this to see if it actually blocks an avatar from leaving, but I think it does. 
I didn't design any of this here, so... This is on Marketplace, uh, Elite Forces Brig. Yeah, ain't gonna let you through. Well, there you have it, I am working on new ideas. My time for my hobby is rather limited, to say the least. It's just one problem after another and tons and tons of overtime. So I don't know. I did shoot all the uh, bridge conversations today. Like, once again, it's going to be called Dog Star. It'll be a fair amount of action in it. I don't do social issues. So you don't have to be worried about being bored with that. Some of you would prefer to watch social issues. Fine. You can find plenty of those on other people's uh, fan films. You won't find them on mine. I'm trying to put real science and real science fiction in these videos instead of sad people standing around talking about nonsense that doesn't even exist. Shocker, for instance, had some serious real so uh, electrical science in it. And that's well worth watching. I mean, uh, political and social issues I consider to be off topic, but science issues I consider to be on topic, since this is supposed to be science fiction. That'll do nicely, that brig, for an occasional, uh, containment area for uh, nasties like the one that you're seeing here. I might take off that head, I haven't decided. I'll show you, this is a detachable head. It looks pretty mean, with or without it. So, we'll see. Don't know when I get to work on it. I'd love to have it out by next weekend, but I'm not optimistic because of all the stupidity I have going. I'm calling these aliens the Gork. That's all I have for now. Hope you enjoy this little tour. I have more set, more, uh, Starship sets than anybody else does. I believe. Any other fan filmmaker, certainly. Probably more than the original series did. Nobody ever did a torpedo room or anything like that. And there's a phaser control room in one episode of TOS. That'll do it for now. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Watch for Dark Star to come out fairly soon. And we'll go from there. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.